All right, guys, so we are gonna do a super fun video today. If you follow me on Instagram, I've been doing some recipe reviews of things that I've been seeing on TikTok and Instagram that are quote unquote healthy. And some of you guys said, well, it'd be really cool if you, I talk about the nutrition behind them, but you've said, if you make them and taste test them along with it. So that's what we're gonna do today. We are going to test out four quote unquote healthy recipes that I found on TikTok. And we are going to see if they're actually what they taste like and B, if they're actually healthy. If you guys are new here, my name is Colleen. I am a non-diet intuitive eating dietitian. And on this channel, we talk all things having no food rules. And if you're a regular, hello, I love you, welcome back. Okay, so I have my laptop here and the four that we're going to try are protein, rice cake, ice cream sandwiches. We're gonna try healthy banana cinnamon rolls, cucumber sushi, and an avocado mug cake. Are you ready? Let's do it. All right, let's make protein rice cake ice cream sandwiches. Why do I feel like this is gonna be so good? Let's make a rice cake ice cream sandwich, guys. Ooh, look at that. Get two rice cakes, it does not matter on the flavor. Well, that's so. Get a bowl for the yogurt. 170 grams of a non fat Greek yogurt. Sorry, my aim's not that good. Good protein. Oh, some left over. Mix it up. Get it to look like number two. Then apply it to your rice cake. Once this one fills up, go to the other one and apply. Put them together. Put in a bag. It is very messy. Oh my gosh. Put in the freezer for an hour. Okay, our ice cream sandwich has been in here in the fridge, freezer for an hour. I don't get the bag, you guys. I just don't get the bag. I feel like putting it on a plate or parchment paper would have been so much easier. I didn't think it was gonna be frozen yet, but it is. Okay, let's try it. Oh my God, it's cold. Okay. Oh my gosh, it's messy. Here are my thoughts. So this is not a real ice cream sandwich, obviously. It is not a replacement for a real ice cream sandwich. I really thought, honestly, it was gonna like hurt my mouth. Cause like rice cakes are hard. Like I thought I was gonna get like my mouth cut up when I ate it, but it didn't really. This could be a fun snack if that's something you're into. I'm kind of like impartial on rice cakes. I don't love them. I don't hate them. You can eat a rice cake and have no food rules if you like rice cake, something nice and, I don't know, puffy, whatever you wanna call it. But it could be a fun snack. Like I said, it's got some protein in there. You got some carbs from the rice cake. You got some yogurt in there. You got some dairy. It could be a fun snack. But also not everything that we eat needs to be packed with protein. And I feel like sometimes people feel like if I add protein to it, I quote unquote can eat it, then it's healthy. You can eat a regular ice cream sandwich, right? I lie, this turned out better taste wise than I thought it was going to. I think I like the taste of the protein powder that I have and that's really all I taste in there. I use the vanilla ice cream one, not bad. Not an ice cream sandwich, not necessarily something I'd make on the daily. I'm gonna go for a regular ice cream sandwich. Okay, time for banana cinnamon rolls. Okay guys, so I'm actually pretty excited to try this banana cinnamon roll, so let's do it. It smells really good, like it smells like banana bread. Ha. Okay, here are my thoughts. Okay, like I said, this is a fun recipe. I did have to add like double the amount of oats that it called for because it would just not stick together. So there was that kind of technicality, if you will. I love that it has oat flour in it. That can be a form of gentle nutrition. Oats can add some extra fiber in there, specifically soluble fiber and specifically a type of soluble fiber called beta glucan, which can really help with things like cholesterol levels. So that could be a great form of gentle nutrition. The recipe uses coconut oil, which I think coconut oil is pretty overrated in the quote unquote health space because it is still a saturated fat and it's not the most health promoting fat. Not that it is bad by any means, it's just not 
necessarily up to the hype that it gets for being healthy. These really kind of remind me of baked oats and that's kind of how I would treat them. They are not a replacement for a cinnamon roll. I actually got a bunch of donuts from the store this morning. I move. This is a cinnamon roll. If I want an actual cinnamon roll, I'm gonna eat one of these. If I want just something in the morning, some kind of fun breakfast or maybe a fun kind of snack, then sure thing, I would have this. It could be, again, a fun, a fun recipe to try with some gentle nutrition in there, a fun way to eat some fruit and some oats, but it's not gonna be the same as a cinnamon roll. If I was eating this for breakfast, like I said, I would kind of view this as like more of like a baked oat recipe than like maybe a dessert recipe. I might pair it with some protein. Maybe I would have some Greek yogurt on the side or something like that to really round out the meal if I was going to have it at that. But overall, really fun recipe. Just a little watch that oat flour. You might need more, but fun. Okay, cucumber sushi time. Anxiety to lose over 100 pounds, part 49. I got this cucumber sushi boats idea from the modern Nona. I'm gonna tag her in the caption. First start by boiling some sushi rice and then making your spicy mayonnaise. I used about a half a cup of light mayonnaise, two tablespoons of sriracha, and then maybe an eighth of a teaspoon of sesame oil. When your rice is finished, add some seasoned rice vinegar, a little bit of trivia, and a little bit of salt. Saute your shrimp, cut a cucumber in half, scoop out the seeds, blot it dry, and then stuff it with your rice, avocado, shrimp, and spicy mayo. All right, let's try it. First, I almost forgot to put the avocado on, and I did end up I did end up being fancy and putting it into a bag because mine was looking rough when I was using a spoon. So and I kind of dig it. Okay, let's talk about it. Okay, this is actually a very quote unquote I have stuff all over my hands balanced recipe. I mean, it's got carbs, it's got fat, it's got some protein in there, it's got some veggies, got some flavor. I think it's fabulous from that point of view. Now, one thing to note is that this Tic Tac recipe actually like starts with, this is a weight loss recipe, or this is what I ate to lose weight. And you guys know here we are weight neutral, but I do think it is important to note that there are no quote unquote weight loss recipes. I like to view recipes for what they are, right? This is a fun recipe. And I think with not having food rules, it's important to work through the triggers. That's very common for that to be a trigger at first, something that's labeled skinny or healthy. But my goal is to get you to guys, to hope that you get to the place where I am with recipes, where I see them for what they are, because this is a fun, a fun thing to try. Like I said, it is pretty quote unquote balanced. And I like to look past the title of a recipe. So, I get asked that question a lot. Is it okay to make quote unquote skinny recipes or those things that are labeled that way? And that's my take on it. Look for what the recipe is. And also, would you feel guilt, stress, or anxiety eating the non quote unquote skinny, quote unquote healthy, quote unquote light, whatever it is version? If the answer is yes, I would feel guilty. That's a food rule. I'd recommend not making the skinny or whatever version and breaking that food rule, making peace with all foods. And then you get to the place where you can kind of start to see those foods for what they are. Like, this is fun, you guys. I've been wanting to try Making sushi sounds so fun, but like I'm not about to sit there and roll it all up in the thing and do all that. This was easy and it was fun and it's honestly delicious. Look at recipes for what they are. This is fun, guys. Honestly, do it. It's fun. Last one, avocado brownie mug cake. Just when you thought my viral fudgy avocado brownies with 3 million views couldn't get better, I made a mug version for the microwave. And somehow it's even more delicious. Mix a quarter of an avocado, a tablespoon cocoa powder and unsweetened almond milk, maple syrup, and a yolk. Try the batter, it's delicious. Add a quarter cup of almond flour, a pinch of salt, and baking powder. Top with chocolate and microwave for 90 seconds. If you have any questions, holler at me below. Okay guys, I did not like the batter for this one. So we'll see how it turns out. It's very hot, it looks nice. Looks nice. I'm nervous. Okay. I don't like it. I don't like it. It's not that bad. I think, to be fair, I may, my pinch of salt might have been a little much. Okay, my thought process here is very similar to the banana cinnamon roll one, where it's kind of like, this is a fun thing to, if you want to eat some avocado and some almond flour, I don't know, form a gen nutrition. If you like this, you can have it, but we shouldn't feel guilt, stress, or anxiety over having a regular brownie. There's absolutely nothing wrong with it. I wouldn't consider this 
And no food is better or worse. No food is good or bad. It's just different. Like I said, it could be a fun way. I mean, avocado and almond flour, they are nutrient dense foods. So you are gonna get a lot of different vitamins, minerals, all of those things for your body, health promoting fats, amazing things like that. But I'm gonna stick to regular brownies. You can like these, there's nothing wrong with that. I'm just not a fan. All right guys, I hope this video was just kind of fun in showing you how you have permission to try these things. And I feel like that's something that kind of grinds my gears in the anti-diet space is that it's always just so negative towards this stuff. And like I said, this is not a brownie. The cinnamon roll was not an actual cinnamon roll, right? They're different, but that doesn't mean you you can't try them. The key is why you're trying them. Do you, are you wanting to try it because you want to, or are you trying it because you'd feel guilt, stress, or anxiety having the regular version of something. But it always goes back to let's just not have food rules and eating quote unquote balance, quote unquote moderation. The thing is in order to strive for that, we get rid of our food rules. We think we need to get more food rules to find that balance, that moderation. And it's the opposite. So if you want to learn more about how to have no food rules, how to enjoy the real brownie when also trying all the other fun things, that is what we do here. So if you are not yet subscribed to the channel, be sure to give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment telling me if you're new, I want to welcome you. Or if you like this video and you want to see more of them, we always do, always do fun things on here. Be sure that you are subscribed so you never miss a video. Okay, hope this is fun, guys. I'm curious what your thoughts are on it. I had fun doing it, just spending some time in my kitchen with you guys. So thank you for watching and I will see you guys back next week with another video. If you want more resources, by the way, on how to get to a point where you don't have food rules, check out the description. I've got tons linked in there and you can watch more videos. All right, see you guys later.